got it. You got a dunk. It's one of the experience. Ready? Two, one. <laughs> Enough for me, personally speaking. What? I grew up hiking with my parents and my brother around Virginia. My parents would like take us out and kind of make us hike because they really like to do it. Um, and they would like get my brother to go up the mountain by like throwing a tennis ball and then he would like go chase it like a dog. I grew up like being very comfortable with myself and I like always have been a really outgoing person and I love to be around people. And then I came up here and like, I felt like the culture was really different. I had a really hard time getting out of my shell and like feeling okay with talking to strangers and making friends. I just felt like I did not know how to talk to anyone. I just was so worried I was gonna say the wrong thing. I realized in the first month of college that I was like just very stressed out and the thing that I really missed was being outside. I signed up to go on an outdoor rock climbing outing with Outing Club here, which I had only ever done once before and I was really bad at. We were a bunch of like scared freshmen among these like big burly rock climber dudes um, who were like rocking it. The sky was really beautiful, the wind was blowing through my hair, like I just remember feeling so calm and at peace. One of the people who was leading the outing is my now housemate, Dane. And I remember talking to him as we were like walking back down the mountain. Um, he has like his long hair and his mustache and I was like, oh my god, he's so old and so cool and I don't know how to talk to him and he seems so chill. Um, and I, I do really remember that. I was like terrified. Um, and now we live like right next door to each other. <laughs> I'm sure there was a moment when I was like, yeah, I'm gonna apply to Outhouse. I think it was more as I started to do more stuff with the club and realize like how much I love the outdoors. I don't think I really realized what being in the Outhouse would entail. We all live in a house together and collectively we run the outing club. We facilitate outings, we hold meetings, we do like the organizational side of it. At the very beginning of the year, like sometime in September, we went for our first ever night swim and we all swam naked together, which was the first time I had ever done that before and we like came out of the water like arms around each other walking back to the car and I think that that was a really formative moment for the house. It was just a really beautiful night and I think it's something I'll always remember. <laughs> I feel like I could depend on anyone in this house for like anything and I hope that they they feel the same. I I just feel like it's a very very supportive environment.
I don't think I would have been able to get through this year without this house. Like, they are people I feel truly comfortable around and I can voice whatever I'm concerned about to them, which is really lovely. First of all, I've learned how much I love the outdoors. Like I knew it before, but now it's like, oh my God, this is something I love and I want to like live and breathe and do every single day. Um, but even more than that, I think I've learned what it means to be like a really good friend um, and to be surrounded by people who are really good friends. I, I really could not imagine my life without this house. Without these people, it really does feel like when I'm here, I have a family and it's m not just living somewhere I live while I'm at college. It's like my family when I'm not with my biological family at home. She's not around most of the time.